Good morning. So today is a really good day. Um, I want to talk about telling your truth and that you always have your truth. When you understand that you always have your truth, even if it's hard to say your truth sometimes, it, this is a matter of practice. It's just like a, like like when you when you flex your muscle and you use your muscle, your muscle becomes stronger. It's the same thing, the telling your truth thing. See, when, when you start trusting your own truth and when you, all, when you always tell the truth, you always have the answer. And then it removes fear, like what, what am I going to say or how am I going to react or what if somebody asks me this, what do I say? You have your truth. A thing is always having, you have to remember, it's like, it's like becoming aware. You have to remember to reach for your truth. That means when you are asked something, you have to stay present in the moment and really take what was asked without letting out the automatic reaction. This is something that I'm learning on my own spiritual awakening and my spiritual path and a conversation that I was having with my son this morning when he asked me, but if they ask me this, what do I say? And I said, just tell the truth. Just tell exactly what you told me. You don't have to. He said, should I say this or should I say that? And I recognized these thought processes um, in my own self as well. And, and, and especially from myself from the past um, where you, you start uh, thinking what you should have said, what you, what you should say if presented. And the thing is, is with that is that we don't even notice that we're doing it. It's kind of like a, a, uh, an automatic, like we have to put on one of these faces. The thing with telling your own truth is that you always have your own truth. Even if your own truth is, I don't know, that's also your own truth. Or your own truth is, I'm thinking about it or, or, and I, when I have some, when I, when I, when I get to the bottom of it, then I will know. You know, you don't always have to know an answer to every question. You know, that is, that is the wonderfulness of this life is that we're constantly asking questions and getting answers and constantly expanding. And so admitting that we don't know everything is just being human. You know, somebody that can't admit that they don't know everything is a very weakness because they're closed themselves off for external knowledge. And so really, it's it's becoming aware, and I've caught myself in the, you know, it sounds very topical, and it sounds very obvious, and it sounds like, oh, yeah, I always tell the truth, but this is, I'm talking about a very, very, it's at a very, very deep, deep, deep level, you know, where, let's say, let's say, and I'm giving you an example, but this isn't something that is going on in my life right now, but it's something that I can remember from the past. So let's say breaking up with somebody. And then you start thinking about, okay, what do I tell them? How do I say it? What? And the truth is, is that you have your truth. If you are breaking up with somebody, it is because it is not a good match. There's something in the match that is off and it's not a perfect match. And when you're breaking up with somebody, you can come and you can tell them that. You can tell them, listen, I don't feel like it's a perfect match. And if one side doesn't feel like it's a perfect match, it's not a perfect match. And the other side is better off not to be with somebody that doesn't feel like they are fulfilling them because then they don't have the opportunity of having somebody that fully loves them for exactly the unique being that they are, you know, because where there is a pot, there is a, there is a, um, lid. So every pot has its lid. And when the more you let go and the more you tell your truth and the more you are truthful to yourself, the clearer you become, the pu more purified you become, the more you even recognize yourself. Because sometimes we're so layered up with all this crap and all these beliefs and all these, you know, childhood things that were shoved down our throats and, and beliefs that we were taught to believe that aren't even the way that we should be and not the way that we are. And when we start removing all these layers and then we find ourselves in here, um, then, uh, then you also become more loyal to yourself, but you're also able to see, because everybody has all these layers of crap over them. So when, you're, when you are running by the program that you have instilled in you, then you are that program. 
and and then you are recognizing other programs that are similar programs to you so you're not finding a pure soul match you're finding a program match uh for your life whereas when you clear out all the programs and you just become a clear pure being you recognize that you can recognize a match in somebody else you become so um spot on because you recognize yourself because you can recognize that purity you can recognize somebody that has done the work you can recognize that truth you can recognize that god essence when you are of god essence um even when you're not of god we're all of god essence it's, it's, I mean, you understand what i'm saying i'm kind of taking it to you know i'm, I'm simplifying it for the point that i want to make and it, everything that I say, words are, are up for interpretation. And everything that I say is not absolute and the only truth. There's so many truths that live side by side simultaneously. And there's so many aspects. You know, everything, every sentence that I say can go down 10 different paths. It can, it can heal, uh, heal, um, heal, in a way that it touches people. You know, when you're speaking from the, the, the level of truth, then it touches people in different places along the way. So it, because it's like a pyramid, it's like speaking from, from the pyramid down, it touches people wherever they are on the pyramid. And that's kind of what I feel like channeling is. Um, speaking from, and it, and it touches everybody in their own individual way. And so when you when you let go into your truth, then you always have the answer. And you always have the answer uh, no matter what. My son is calling, so I'm going to answer. Thank you for watching. Okay, so another point about, how, about speaking your own truth. When you speak your own truth, you're free to live because you, are, you, you always have the answer, so you don't have to think of it ahead of time. When you learn and your truth becomes the automatic and becomes the first thing that comes out of you, um, even if it's painful for the person in front of you to hear it, even if it is something that, you know, where you are have to confront somebody with something that they don't want, where you're not playing society's game, where you're not playing the game of I'm not going to hurt your feelings because I'm going to wrap the truth and, and you know, I'm, I'm going to say something that doesn't hurt and, and not be true to my true self. You know, your words have power. When you tell truth, then everybody trusts your word because they even if it hurts they know that they are going to get the truth so you become a higher being and also within yourself you become a free being because any situation that you get into you always have your truth you always have your truth uh, your truth always goes with you and 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 the truth and and your truth is also when you live in a place of power, what you are looking for is truth. So your truth is flexible. Your belief system is flexible. You're always looking to expand. So your ego, from a place of power, your ego sits sits down. Because when you want for expansion, you want for truth, and you want to better yourself, and you want to purify yourself, you're looking for opportunities. So you, you have your solid truth and you're moving forward with your solid truth. But if you are presented with a mirror that proves you, know, you don't fight for truth, well, for, you don't fight for any truth when you, when you are so, you can explain your truth, but you don't have to have anybody else understand you. And you also are willing to learn because the, what you are after is the truth. So if somebody comes and tells you something, and you realize that, oh, wait a minute, look at that. That's true. It either contradicts or it expands my truth, which typically it expands my truth or adds new faucets to it. It's not from an ego place like, oh, I had to learn from them. I'm, I, you know, where I have to prove myself. It comes from a place of like true strength which is I want to learn from you everything that I know I already know so I want to listen and hear and hear and learn from you and if I have something to add I'll add it and it, but if if the person in front of me is is in their ego mind and pushing against and not wanting to hear then it's it's not even worth my speech because when somebody is pushing against 
they're, they're not even listening to you. They're just waiting for you to finish so that they can make their point. And, and so it is of no, it's just wasted energy. And when somebody is pushing against, they don't want to hear what you have to say. So they're not trying to understand it. They don't want to change their belief system. They're fighting for their belief. So they're fighting to be right rather than looking for expansion. And when you meet an, uh, uh, somebody like that, that you are that you want to, if they don't want to hear it, there is no point. And uh, 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 and you come to a place where you don't have to make that point. You're not of ego. You don't have to be right. It doesn't matter that other person's opinion of you does not define you. And if somebody is in that kind of perspective, I certainly, I don't even, I, it doesn't, their perspective of me doesn't even matter. It is like, it doesn't matter because I, and not in a way of like putting them down or, or, or being judgmental. It's just that I can see where they're at. I've been there before and, and they have something to overcome before they can even comprehend the truth that I am. Yes, you know, there, there's, it's just a different level of, of, uh, comprehension, not even comprehension. It's a different level of consciousness. It's a different level of awareness. It's a different level of awakenedness. Somebody that is still living under the ego and fighting to be right, you know, whether they're fighting to be right to, to put out their point or to protect their truth, either way, it's ego, right? Whereas when you come from a place of strength and place of looking for truth, and wanting to be a full expression of truth, and that comes back to, to only speaking truth because your words are magic. They have power in them. And you don't sell your soul just to make somebody else feel good. You don't sell your truth. You don't always have to say your truth, but you certainly don't make up a cover story for it. You can say, I just don't want to respond to it. you know. But uh, coming from a place of that... that if somebody wants the lesson, then 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 I will explain my truth. I'll be willing to hear counter to my truth so that I can be, first of all, conscious of what somebody else thinks. Like, you know, even if it is completely out of my belief system and I can see fault in it, at least I'm educated in what another one thinks. Um and I realize that we are all our own universe and we all understand things differently. We all bring different parts of the puzzle. We all make up different parts of the, of the being of humanity. There's different, you know, it's like oh, what my twin said, that the, the cell inside the, inside the brain doesn't know what the cell inside the little pinky toe is doing. They don't even know that they're connected. They feel like they're completely separate. They don't know that they're a part of the same thing. And that's kind of like... Uh, we're coming, becoming aware that we are of something much more massive. We are of the all. We are of a God. We are God-like. We are of God. It always comes back to it, doesn't it? You know, if you would have told me two years ago that I would be making videos and talking about God and talking about the Messiah and the spiritual awakening and all of this, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I would have believed it, but I don't know. And the twin flame thing, rare, rare. That's like, and all this mystical realm. The thing is, is that when you start going through it and you start passing through the dimensions, you can see them energetically. You can see that you are going into this much higher dimension. You, uh, you sit in a different plane. You sit in the in the now. You sit in a in a place of uh, pure consciousness. A place of of pure is a place of uh, being, you know, human beings. Um, so when you have your, when you begin to look for truth and you become truthful, you be, you begin to be very, very aware of every word that you say, and you begin to become conscious of every question that is asked, you actually take the question and you look for your own real truth, not the topical pretty answer. What is the truth for this? And then it's, it starts becoming the automatic. Your, your truth becomes legitimate and automatic. And when you tell the truth 
a, a, a complete truth, there is no argument for it. You're sitting in your truth. If somebody asks you, do you want to come and you make up an excuse and you say, no, I can't because of this or this or that, they can argue against that this or this or that. And then, or if you just say, no, I don't want to, I want to spend an evening on my own this evening. There's your truth right there. You know, so it's, it's the difference between, between really searching for the truth and then the truth becomes automatic. And when the truth becomes automatic, it's just like I'm sharing here in these videos It's sharing the most intimate of things, like really intimate things, me crying in videos and, and my, uh, you know, my own personal life and the things that I'm going through and the, and the emotions that I'm going through and the understandings and the downloads and the channeling and even saying that I'm, that, the, that this is channeling, it, you know, from the ego point, that's like, but from this higher realm, that is, I can just see that that's exactly what it is. And I feel like it is my God's work to put it out there as is, as I'm going through this process and as I'm navigating it, because one of my, one of my God given gifts is to be able to put very complex things into very simple words so that they can be understood. And also another one of them is to be able to put emotions into words and understand, go deep within and, and explain emotions and pick pick them apart. So those are talents that I have. I'm able to do the processing, understand them and put them into simple words um, so that uh, others can understand and comprehend what they are feeling emotionally. And I feel like that is my God's work. I also read energetically. So I can read people energetically and see exactly what their energy, their life force, you know, what, what their, their, you know, when they are purified enough or when they are open, then I can go in and I can read. Um, so God-given talents, which, which has taken, see, these are my truths. And these are things that have taken me years to be able to even say them. But what, one thing I understand about having superpowers, when you have superpowers, and we each have, what are superpowers? Superpowers are your, are your God-given talents. It's what flows through you. It's what you were meant to be doing on this earth. It's your life mission. It's your place in society. It's the gift that you have to give to the world. It is what you are extremely good at naturally. It is where you naturally are drawn to from when you were a child. It is... Uh, the most obvious thing when you let go of society's expectation, it is where you would naturally flow to. Um, so, and, and just being able to, uh, um, you know, and then we are, and then we are conditioned on top of our God-given talents. And then we never really even know or are willing to say our God-given talents, because first of all, there, a lot of these talents don't have place in society, like channeling is and not in mainstream society, let's say. And uh, which I hope that now with this, with everything that is going on in the world and this mass awakening that is happening now, that it will become commonplace. Um, meditation, uh, uh, rebirthing the earth, uh, allowing things to go back to nature, back to the way they are, creating the cycle of life again. Life wants to flourish. Life wants to hold on. So we can still turn this whole big, big ship around with mass awakening. The, the the ship, I mean, planet Earth and humanity and um, com coming into sync with nature. I was telling, I was telling my, my, we were having a conversation. I was saying that this generation is going to be known as the plastic generation, you know, and generations to come. And then the conversation went all sorts of directions about humanity's fate. <laughs> but um, so when you start telling the truth, you also live a fearless life because you can trust in yourself. When you, when you start telling the truth, you become strong because you are always saying your truth. And then there is no fear in it. And it's like a muscle. You start getting used to only saying your feelings. And it feels so good to be telling your own truth that you <clears throat> refuse to say something that isn't your truth <clears throat> because it doesn't feel right vibrationally. And so um, it gives you power. 
Your truth gives you power. It gives you uh, the power of creation behind you because when you align with truth, you align with the universe. When you align with truth, you align with the natural course of things because you come, you say your truth, and according to your truth, your course will go. If you're wishy-washy about your truth, then your life is going to be wishy-washy all over the place. So when the, being truthful, is, there's so much more to it. It's so character building and it also, it, it, it allows you to live a fearless life. It means that you don't have to be constantly obsessing about what's going to be in the future because you know that when you get there, you always have your truth. You always know when you are truthful to yourself, you always know which direction to take. You always know which day, which day decision to make, or you know that you are postponing this because you don't know you, it, it, you have clarity when you begin to, and all you have to do is begin with the little things, the things that you notice. And you'll see that when you begin with the little things, the things that you notice, they start leading you into the bigger things because truth, you know, living a truthful life is a, is a, is a vibrational thing. So when you start telling the truth you and being truthful to yourself more and more and more, and we are at all different places on this spectrum, right? So from where you're at, it doesn't matter where you're at. I'm sure that many of you are very far along, uh, maybe even further than I am along on this path um, of being able to recognize. Even in the last couple of days, I was able to recognize a few places that I was off. Um, but even I, I'm, I'm like... I'm happy with myself even recognizing the places that I'm off because it means that I'm becoming aware. And when I and then when I switch it into my truth, truth feels powerful. Truth is a vibration. Truth is like responsibility. You start feeling that vibration. When you say something that is out of sync with that vibration, you begin to feel it. And then it becomes like, oh, wait a minute. Well, it feels awkward and you don't want to be in that place anymore. And then you... It, when you start telling small truths, it leads to bigger truths and bigger truths. You don't have to know all the truths right now. You, they, it's just like when you, be, you start becoming connected with yourself, you start connecting and connecting and connecting. It's something, it's a progress. And so, and so telling your truth is also one, this spiritual journey has so many aspects to it. It has so many different you know, there's so many different avenues to get to the exact same outcome. And you can use all of these avenues simultaneously, doing the reflective work internally, doing the truth work, doing the uh, 3D work, just set yourself in motion, uh, doing the let go work. You know, it's like we have to do all of this work in all of these different layers and we could do them all simultaneously and it brings us all, it brings us that much quicker to this uh, uh, state of, of uh, heaven on earth, which is a state. It is a state. It is a state in which you are purified and connected to God. You pass through into this other dimension, which is an energetic dimension where you are playing with energy. You're at the soul level. You're at your energetic. You're living through your energetic body, through your soul body, through God's body. And then you start understanding that your words have power. Your motion has power. Your emotion has power. Your vibration has power. And you are a powerful creator. You are a powerful influencer. You are a powerful creature that can be in complete sync with God all around, which is in sync with the people all around. Because if you're in sync, then you uh, influence everything around you to be in sync. And you bring it back to that state of sync. And then you're living a life where everything around you is in sync. When you are, have you ever noticed that when you are next to somebody, we are always influencing and being influenced. And the person that I am with one person is not the same person that I am with another person. One person brings out certain parts of me and another person brings out other parts of me. So we are constantly influencing and being influenced. So when we can hold our vibration, very, very high vibration, we are that influencer. And so the people that come into 
our lives will rise to the occasion. It's just like when you believe in somebody and you trust in somebody, they they don't want to let you down. They want to meet your expectations. So even if it means like bettering themselves, it's like a child that is put down because they're not doing anything right. They're going to continue not to do things right because that's what they're putting their focus on. And a, a child that is a, that a, that is that is given compliments and wow, look at you. They're going to rise. They're going to think of those things of themselves and, and rise up to the occasion. And so truth is a tricky thing. You see, there's so many different truths. So you have to choose your perspective to, you know, be, 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 be truthful to yourself, align yourself with the, the, the universe and live aligned with the universe. And then you have the power of the universe behind you. And you become the powerful being that you are. Okay, so this video was mainly with a few little side streets, mainly about telling the truth, becoming aware, um, really coming into the moment, becoming aware uh, continuously and constantly of what your truth is in every moment. And it's, it's part of the process of waking up. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it.